All right, I guess more parts on the way. Uh, hopefully this right seat belt comes in. I ordered a second seat belt and it was the wrong one. Um, it was actually a back seat seat belt. So I have a third seat belt on the way now and I'm hoping it's the right one. So go ahead and get that started and actually be able to take Shay out on the trails, which will be fun finally. Um, I am gonna start working on the rig a little bit today. It is now Friday the 14th and one thing about this rig that has absolutely been driving me crazy is this right here that's been missing. And so what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and just pull all of them off and, um, and also pull these running boards off as well. It'll give me a lot more clearance. Uh, a lot of people mention that you end up ripping those off on the trail. I actually like the look of them, but if I can clean up the side of the rig and get everything prepped, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting working on that. Pull off these little mud flaps back here as well, and hopefully just clean this sucker, clean this sucker up just a little bit more. I'm also been looking at tires, trying to figure out what size I want to go to. I'm really edging towards 37s. I think they'll tuck. I'm not entirely sure, but we will see. I also have some other things in the work that I'll explain to you a little bit later. Today, first things first, I'm gonna work on removing this stuff. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try and do the power steering pump. So let's get started. This is what it looks like right now. If you guys haven't seen it. Again, all of these are actually in really good condition. I'll see if anybody's interested in them. But this one right here, I guess the kid smashed it and this part broke off and then just ripped it off completely. So you get stuck with these little holes, which sucks because then you either have to weld them up or what I've heard a lot of people doing is, is just putting some metal tape and then monster lining, um, basically the fenders on. Or I might even do the um, bushwhacker style, style fenders later on. I'm not entirely sure which one I like more, but for now I'm just gonna take all this off, clean these up, take these out, because again, it just looks trashy, it's driving me crazy. I'd rather just have a hole than this stupid thing right here sticking out. So again, clean this up. I really wanna get some rock rails. I have to figure out who's I'm gonna get those from, because those are like a grand. And uh, so yeah, let's clean this up and see what we can do. Get some, uh, just get this all nice and clean and there's the other side for reference this is actually the nice side if anyone is curious on why that mirror is white and that one is black it's because i bought new mirrors and they sent me to driver's side which sucked so i was only able to replace the driver's side i still need to get a new passenger side but that's what that looks like i also need to get a new antenna also on the list but not what i'm working on right now so let's clean this all up and see how it comes out. And there we go with the running boards off. Already a huge improvement, looks a lot better. Also makes it look lifted, even though it's not. But there you go, that's one side. And there's the other. If anyone needs running boards, let me know. See how goofy that looks? Ah, I can't stand it. Anyways, these are about to come off next. As soon as I figure out how to take them off. And there you go, there's the end result. So I got all the fenders off. I just gotta clean this all up now. Running boards are off. Overall, honestly, I think it looks a lot better. I'm on my way now to get some new tires, so hopefully toss some mud trains on this and get out on the trail just a little bit closer. So it is coming along finally. Again, just gotta clean all that up and make that look a little bit better. Now what I'm thinking about doing for these holes is just getting like small plugs and maybe just put those in for now. I'm not entirely sure just yet until I can get it welded or whatnot. But these are what you are end up with as far as hole wise. So nothing crazy. I'm not worried about the front because the water will just drain out the bottom, but I do not really want water in these because this goes in the door and then this goes into the back part. So I'll figure out a way to plug those for now. Even if it's just putting a piece of um, really good white tape over it, just a, a small, small little patch or something. Anyways, just some, but that's how she looks now. And again, ready to go hit some trails. Just uh, got a little bit more, a lot more clearance now and uh, we'll be able to get out there. Good morning everyone, it's a big day. It's Sunday and we are going to toss on some 35s. Right now I'm still at the stock lift, but I'm gonna go ahead and fit these on and then I got some OME J coils on the way and uh, we're gonna do that lift. So about three and a half inch lift. Gonna get that all dialed in with these tires right here. These are the Cooper STT Pros. I'm really pumped to put them on. I love these tires. I was able to get them for a great deal. Um, they're brand new. 
I've never been ran. I usually buy used tires because I get a lot better deals, but I got a great deal on these uh, tires right here. I was going back and forth between 33s, 35s, and 37s, and this just worked out. So I feel like it's a happy median. 35s are great, and uh, let's go get them tossed on. And there you go got the 35s on there tucked in I ended up taking these caps off I didn't know if I needed to but they were kind of in the way and I didn't really like them anyway so I just removed them to give them a little bit more turning space in there but that's what it looks like I mean they're tucked in there but this will work I got my OME J lift springs on the way and I can go ahead and lift it up but for now much better upgrade and setup so far dang these things are freaking beefy that's some good tread right there anyways that wraps this up for this week